Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We are out here. We're in nature. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. That beautiful prana. Beautiful summer's day. Do you find yourself attractive? Ten secrets irresistibly attractive people won't tell you. But why, Ralph? I have no idea. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> okay, let me share with you what helped me along my journey when I was scratching my head to think what makes someone attractive and what makes someone unattractive. And I came across some startling realizations which I'm going to share with you. The 10 secrets irresistibly attractive people won't tell you. Let's start with the first one. They love themselves. No, 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 no. They love themselves. And that's why you love them too. Ever seen someone just fanning themselves on the beach? And you're like, I love you. They take care of themselves. That is so attractive. When someone really loves themselves, you can't help but just hug them like want to hug them like hey come over here let me give you a hug when someone doesn't love themselves you feel like okay it's time to back off a lot of people say Ralph I hate myself I hate myself I'm trying to like you help me out here say I love myself and I'm gonna like you I'm gonna love you baby right people who love themselves are super attractive point blank people say how do i love myself ralph go to the place where you find your greatest power i don't know if that's skating i don't know if that's uh, skinny dipping i don't know what do you do what's the second secret they are themselves a hundred percent nothing is more sexier more attractive than authenticity mm. slow motion that side mm. Along my early journey, there was a long period where I wanted to be someone else. I wasn't really 100% comfortable with who I was, and I found myself not to be so attractive. What changed? I had a conversation with a cat down the road, and the cat down the road said, look, if you want to be attractive, Ralph, start accepting yourself 100%. Start just being you ever just been on the beach and someone's just chilling in their own zone and you're like oh my gosh they're so attractive ever been around someone who's trying really hard to get your attention and you're like Ugh, no thanks attractive people are authentic period what's the third secret seven day vegan challenge blueberries in your mouth papaya in your mouth mangoes in your mouth Let's go. Strawberries, of course. Attractive people, irresistibly attractive people, eat not only to look good because they want the perfect butt, triceps and biceps. No, they eat also to feel good. And when they feel good, they end up looking good. That's why you can't take your eyes off them. Right, It's what I call the sexy diet. Ralph, what are you eating in your sexy diet? Well, I've got the maca going. I've got the chia seeds going. I've got the strawberries going. Right, More vitamin C than oranges. And that makes me feel great. So I end up feeling super attractive to myself. Like I would date myself. See, that's the secret of attractive people. They would date themselves. If you would date yourself, you are irresistibly attractive. But they eat to not only look good, but to feel great. You see, when I used to feel unattractive, I was eating junk food. If you eat junk food, chances are you're going to end up looking like junk. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> What's the fourth secret, Ralph? Irresistibly attractive people make an effort. Have you ever seen someone and you think they just like woke up like that? No, they probably spent like five hours like me. No, I didn't really spend like two minutes. Look, 
it's effortless. It becomes effortless. But you see, they do make an effort. You got some women, they love manicures and pedicures and they always make an effort to look good. You see, attractive people don't just roll out of bed like that. They actually go to the gym. They make time to work out, take care of their body. Okay, go to that spa, that massage. I'm not going to do it for you, but someone else will. Actually, I might. I might. You're a nice person. Okay, they take care of themselves, right? They make an effort to look good. Now, a lot of times what makes someone really attractive is because they are well kept. I love women personally who really take care of their body, right? You got a manicure going, a pedicure, that's super attractive, but in an organic way. You see, a lot of people, you might be feeling unattractive right now, not loved, not appreciated, and ask yourself, are you making an effort to fall in love with yourself or rise in love with yourself? You see, a lot of the times we just let ourselves go and nothing is more unattractive than someone who lets themselves go. Of course, you want, you can let yourself go when it comes to not really trying hard, but when you don't take care of yourself, who wants to be around you? Sometimes you don't even want to be around yourself. But once you start making an effort for yourself, the birds will come. Woo! Birds, where are you? They're everywhere, baby. They're everywhere, baby. Okay? The fifth secret. Irresistibly attractive people won't tell you. No, 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 no. But I will, because I'm nice. <laughs> Is that they also have, say it, Ralph. Say it, Ralph insecurities oh thank goodness they're not so perfect no not at all in fact irresistibly attractive people they have a beautiful relationship with their insecurities they don't want to be perfect and no they just learn how to work with their insecurities they look at every single body part with a lot of love a lot of compassion a lot of attention and care right? They love every aspect of themselves, even the undesirable aspects, okay? Sometimes there's a body part we don't like. Irresistibly attractive people own that body part to make you even love it because they love it. And now, you, well, you, you just got to love it, okay? <laughs> what makes someone very unattractive? It's when their insecurities keep, they keep getting the best of them. Okay, they're like, I'm really insecure about this. They keep complaining about their insecurities. You see, irresistibly attractive people complain as well, but they also do something about it. I'll give you an example. A lot of people say I'm too fat, I'm too thin. Irresistibly attractive people will say, okay, this body shape I have right now is beautiful. Even if I'm a bit overweight or a bit too skinny, I love myself regardless. And that makes you love them. But they will also say, I'm still insecure, but I'm working through it. We're going to get there. We're going to get there, baby. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. That's fantastic. What's number six, Ralph? Talk to me. Irresistibly attractive people won't tell you that their body, yeah, their body is not the most attractive thing about them. No, not at all. Like you think, oh my gosh, they got such a hot body on the beach. No, they'll tell you their mind is or their energy is because they will tell you that you've got to start feeling good on the outs on the inside. <laughs> you can feel good on the outside as well. You got to start feeling good on the inside to start looking good on the outside. Mm. Slow motion that side. Mm. You see a lot of us. We don't realize we are really attracted to other people's energy. Like we see someone and we think, oh my gosh, they've got such a nice body. No, no, no. You are attracted to their vibrational energy. That is what is drawing you into their force field. <gasps> it's like a magnet. Don't get sucked into my magnet, baby. Whoa, too late. Okay. It's the energy. It's the aura. So irresistibly attractive people are always working from the inside out as opposed to the outside in. Hmm. Think about that. <laughs> What's number seven, Ralph? Irresistibly attractive people won't tell you 
that appearance, yes, appearance really does matter. Okay, we say, well, it doesn't matter how you look. No, 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 no. It does. Because if you don't look good in your eyes, you're not going to feel good. And if you don't feel good, you're not going to love yourself. And if you don't love yourself, you're not going to be irresistibly attractive. So you want to look good for yourself. For instance, an example here, I love wearing jackets and suits. I've been doing that since I was like 13 years old, 14 years old. I would always wear a jacket. And a lot of people used to call me businessman, right? When I was skating, I used to even wear a suit when I would be doing kickflips and stuff. What's up, Rodney? Rodney Mullen, great skateboarder. Okay, so you want to dress well for yourself. You see, clothes are statements. That's why they say fashion statement, okay? And a lot of irresistibly attractive people, they know what to wear that will make them feel good and look good. And you also can't stop staring at them right now stop staring okay right sometimes you go to the beach you see a woman in a beautiful bikini she's drawn you in because she's she's wearing the right attire right sometimes you see a guy in, in a beautiful suit or maybe not even a suit sometimes just a casual jeans and t-shirt but it's the perfect fit for him and you know it okay <laughs> What's number eight? Irresistibly attractive people always surround themselves with people who tell them they're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're attractive. You're hot. Whoa. Ha! It's hot. Right? They always surround themselves with people who compliment how good they look. And that's why they are irresistibly attractive. You see, unattractive people surround themselves with people who always trash talk their appearance oh you don't look good da, 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 da. and they absorb that energy which makes them feel very unattractive so if you want to become irresistibly attractive surround yourself with people who compliment you every single second like it has to be every second you look fantastic you look beautiful you look fine you look fine right good friends find a good friend today that's gonna really stroke your ego tell you how beautiful you look sometimes it's your parents they do a great job or or even the cat down the road okay what's number nine ralph irresistibly attractive people are they won't tell you they are so in love with their life purpose ever seen someone just working on their purpose maybe you're a gardener maybe you're an architect maybe you're an entrepreneur setting up an online business and you just see them in their element they're working away and you're like goodness gracious can we just can we just take a trip like to brazil we we need to go on the beach immediately it's so attractive when you see people who are married to the when you see people who are <laughs> married to their life purpose when you see someone with a sense of direction, a sense of clarity, but more so a sense of purpose, we are drawn to that. Now, along my early journey, I didn't really have a sense of direction or purpose, and I felt very unattractive. And then I saw some strawberries and I ate a lot of them. And then I started to become my greatest version. And I will tell you this secret. Ever since I've been on this journey of becoming my greatest version in helping people, I have met so many people. It's unbelievable. Not only at the beach, in the mountains, but anywhere and everywhere in supermarkets because I'm a man with a mission. When you are a man with a mission, when you are a woman with a mission, you will naturally attract your soulmate. Happened to me along my journey. It happened to me along my journey. Do you know that when I make these videos, <laughs> I end up meeting people like through them. We have a great time, right? I even met my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend, and then a new girlfriend, and then this girlfriend. Look, you, and then this friend, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy like that. Because you find the one you love doing what you love. Mm. Slow motion that side. Mm. Let me repeat that. You find the one you love doing what you love. You see, 
what makes someone feel really unattractive is that they don't know their purpose. So they don't have enough confidence to realize they are worthy of other people's love and attention. You see, irresistibly attractive people are so in their element. They're not so needy. They love being around people, but they're also focused on becoming their greatest version through living their life purpose daily, which makes them attractive. So you've heard the saying, every woman loves a guy in uniform or wearing a suit uh, with the uh, purple and, and uh, turquoise. No, no. What else? <laughs> okay. Number 10, irresistibly attractive people won't tell you that being kind, I'm going to do a whole video on why being kind will get you places. Okay. <laughs> why they won't tell you that if you are super kind, you are super attractive. Ever been around a stingy person and instantly they're like really unattractive, even if they look good. Yeah. That's how it works. Like we are drawn to generosity. Like the most attractive woman I find I'm looking at right now is the most generous person I know. She knows who she is. She's just super generous. She actually like will give you everything. And I give her everything, right? Super generous means irresistibly attractive. So unattractive people, oftentimes they are living in lack. So they don't want to give anything. If you've got a beautiful heart, you are irresistibly attractive. I love a woman who smiles like that. Oh, baby, you're so attractive. A lot of women love guys who smile a lot. Uh, but what happens when you're really cold, right? All of a sudden, people don't want to be around you. So people are attracted to the sun. Like it's a beautiful summer's day right now. Can I get a hello? <laughs> and it feels fantastic. So there you have it. 10 secrets irresistibly attractive people won't tell you, but I did. Why, Ralph? Because I'm nice like that. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. We're out here. We're in nature. We're having fun. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace.